as a presenter, you have certain sharing capabilities that are not available to just your average attendee. All sharing capabilities are going to be at the top. Um, as you can see, I am not sh currently sharing my microphone or my camera, but if I clicked these, I would be able to turn on my camera and microphone. So if I were to go ahead and turn on my camera, you would see me show up in this large presentation space. Um, if at any time I wanted to change my camera in the room, I could do so by clicking on switch camera, or I could also turn it off. This is the same for microphone. Um, I can mute myself when I'm sharing my video. So if I, for whatever reason, say I was sharing a YouTube video, which I will show you in just a moment how to do, um, or if I wanted to mute myself if there were multiple presenters, I would be able to do so by clicking that. Now, if I were to share a file, so that would be PowerPoint, but PDF is preferred. So if you do have a PowerPoint slideshow, then you'll want to convert that to PDF. Um, or a image or any kind of file that you want to share, um, you'll need to go into share file and click browse files. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this file demo slideshow that I've already conveniently prepared for you. And that will just convert that file over and add it to the room once it's finished loading. Now you'll notice my video feed jumped up here to the top to maximize the screen space for the presentation. And um, there are three slides in the slideshow. And as you can see on this kind of toggle below, which is only again available to the host, I'll be able to go through the slides in real time. And again, this is going to be exactly the view that your attendees see minus this host control panel. So that's actually um, a very um, accurate portrayal of how it will look. You can um, annotate this slideshow as well. So you can choose your colors and you know do whatever you like. And then there is a drawing function. So you know if you wanted to highlight some text or, or draw, you know, you have that feature as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this slideshow. And as you'll notice, again, my video has jumped back to full screen. Now, if I wanted to go back and share that file, or if I had multiple files that were already uploaded, um, as you can see here, I have in my slideshow queue or my file queue, I can reopen the file and it will jump me right back to where I was before. Now, that's all for sh file sharing for just PDFs and images um, and PowerPoints, but we also have a few other sharing options that are important to mention. The first of which being screen sharing. So to screen share, all you would need to do is click the screen sharing icon and you would select the screen that you wanted to share. And from there, you would be able to share your screen. And by that, I mean clicking the screen that you'd like. You'll notice that you're on air and from there you can begin sharing. So I'm actually sharing this screen. So if I were to click here and create a new tab, it would share this screen and share my mouse movement as well. To stop sh screen sharing, just click the stop screen sharing tab. It will ask if you want to stop and of course you do. And then finally, you can play a YouTube video by simply copying and pasting the YouTube URL link into this field and adding the video. And just the same as you saw with share files, once you add a YouTube link, you'll also be able to have a YouTube link queue where you can reopen it at any time.